Okay, now we're going to export the data that we figured out which 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 camera it is and what 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 the time interval is um, that we're going to um, export. So we're going to right click off the screen, it goes backwards, uh, right click again and we're going to click in the sub menu, the main menu, the main menu here, we're going to click the main menu and go to export on the main menu, this export, click export and you can see here at the top all the different cameras you can choose from, we only want camera 5, we'll click everything off except camera 5, camera 5. Now we want to choose the start time of the video and the end time of the video that we want to retrieve. So today is the 26th and we're going to start the 26th for today and it ends today. Um, we, we didn't have an incident that, that carried over to the next day. It wasn't, um, it wasn't, it wasn't 11 59 PM going into the next day at 1 a.m. So we're going to keep the days the same. If it was to the next day, we would choose the next day on this one. Or, you know, if you want to pull off more than that. But this is only going to be a little strip video we're retrieving of something that happened here. And you can see that it starts you off at zero and ends you at 23, 59, 59, which is the end of 24 hour period and this thing goes by uh, military time. So 11 a.m. I'm gonna choose both, choose both 11 a.m. So 11 a.m. and 47 minutes. 47 minutes. And then we're gonna, so from 11 a.m. 11 a.m. 47 minutes to 11 a.m. 51 minutes or 52 let's say 52 and we want this zeroed up as well 52 minutes so so 11 47 a.m. to let's see if you can see that 11 47 a.m. to 11.52 a.m. So just that small amount of video we're going to retrieve. So we have camera 5 from the date to which date and the time to which time. So we're going to go ahead and down here and click search. So we're going to search the system for that. And this is what it finds. It finds the video which is exactly what we want, the video we want. Click, you can click this, just that. You can click all if you have, if you have all now. You can play the video just to, just to make sure this is what you want here. If you, you see me come in, see me leave. So yeah, this is, this is the right video. This is what we wanted from that, from that time to this time. And now we just do export. You can do export all or export. It's going to be the same thing if I clicked all or, or just that. It's because um, usually, you know, if you, if you pull off a lot of different cameras, you know, multiple cameras, um, maybe four cameras caught the same incident from different angles, then you retrieve all at once. Um, we're only retrieving one, one camera here. I'm going to click export and it gives us you know these options here can you see that okay so if you take a look here you can you, 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 what's supposed to show up actually here is in in this in this spot here in the middle it's supposed to be a device a device which is um uh, a usb stick or 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 um some other secondary storage like a uh, uh, a hard drive or some something like that and um, this is what you're going to export the data to is a drive so this is set to mp4 which a lot of things play mp4 a lot of you know it's 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 fine there's different choices in here but most devices play mp4 so it's good to retrieve it 
if you want the most excellent date, the most excellent videos, probably AVI and, um, as well as, you know, the most excellent audio. But, you know, if you don't have audio and you just want the video, then you could retrieve it. MP4 works great. You would click which device you want to retrieve it to. And then you would click export onto that device. So there you have it. That's how we, that's how we retrieve the data. You can see here, I don't have a USB device, otherwise I would show you that, but there's two USBs, two USB ports. One is being used by the mouse here, and the other one is here in the front. This is the one we use there in the front. You just plug your stick in there before or after you get started. It'll, it'll installize and start right up, and uh, you'll be able to send it, send it on from this screen. And then once you once you once you've downloaded it all on there, it'll give you the screen that says it's 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 up you know it's exported correct uh, successfully, and then you can take take it plug it into um, into a computer and um, double check your work and make sure that you got the video and, and play it off of your computer. All right.